Hi guys, thanks for clicking. Today we're going to be talking all about VORs. What is a VOR? What are types of the VOR? VOR range? And what is the principle for operation of a VOR? A VOR is a ground based navigation aid used for both in work navigation as well as terminal approaches and non position landings. It is also worth noting that the majority of VORs nowadays are paired with the DME, distance measuring equipment. VOR operates in a VHF band and ranges between 108 and 11795 MHz frequencies. And this is what it looks like in real life. Some symbols you may come across on identical charts. The first one is a VOR standalone, second, VOR DME, and then the third one is a Vortac, VOR and TAC hand together. It is also a symbol on Jefferson charts. This is an Albert VOR DME. Oscar Romeo Tango is the three letter identifier, 114.15 is the frequency, and then you have its small d, which signifies that the VOR is paired with DME, and the h signifies that the, uh, this is a high altitude VOR used for uh, vector airways. Now we're going to look at what are the types of VOR. There are two types of VOR conventional VOR and Doppler VOR. The conventional is amplitude modulated, whereas the DVOR is frequency modulated because of Doppler effect. It is also more accurate and more expensive. The conventional is less accurate. It's also less effective in challenging geographical sites, whereas the Doppler VOR is more practical in crowded areas and tall buildings. The conventional required accuracy plus minus 4 degrees, whereas the Doppler is more accurate thus required accuracy is plus minus 1 degree only. The Doppler VOR is a further development of a conventional VOR, so you can just think of it as a more state-of-the-art version of the conventional. And now we're going to look at VOR range. VORs operate in the VHF band, thus its radio waves follow a line of sight path. And there are three categories, the T, terminal VOR, with a range of approximately 25 nautical mile, that is used for non-position approaches, the L, low altitude VOR. 40 nautical miles, and we have the high altitude VOR, slightly a little bit more than 100 nautical mile in range, and it's used for vector airways and high altitude in route navigation. Now let's see how far away we can receive a VOR signal. We can use this formula. The altitude is in feet. For example, we are flying at 12,500 feet. So the distance or the range would be 1.23 times the square root of 12,500. It gives us 137.5 nautical mile. So this is the distance away from a VOR we can still receive a signal. Now let's look at what is the principle of operation of a VOR. VOR stations send off signals in 360 degrees, hence the name omnidirectional. Basically, VOR principle of operations is based on phase difference, where stations transmit a carrier modulated by two 30 Hz signals, a reference signal, same phase on all different radials, and a variable signal, different phase on each radio, due to the design of the VOR station antenna. So, onboard aircraft or the aircraft onboard receiver picks up the uh, received signals measures the phase difference between the reference and the variable signal, then provides the reading to the pilot through the VOR or the HSI indicator. For example, let's say the received and measured signal is 45 degrees, meaning the aircraft is currently in a radio of 045, regardless of the aircraft heading. What does that mean? It means if the aircraft is, is on the 045 radio, and let's say it's facing this way, or this way, both aircraft are on the 045 radio. So this is it guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to put them in the comments, I'll be more than happy to answer each and every one of you. Cheers.